Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss few more interview questions and answers. This is the 13th video from Snowflake interview questions and answers playlist. Question 1. What additional columns get created when you create a stream which includes the same columns as the source object? Answer is, these are following three addition columns will get created when you create a stream. The first one is the metadata dollar action. Second one metadata dollar is update. The third which is last metadata dollar row id. These are the three additional columns will get created in stream. Okay. Please note that along with these three columns these are all virtual columns okay so for example if you take a ex, uh, employee table assume that there are three columns are there in the employee table employee number employee id and salary these are the three columns when you create a stream on this employee table your stream is going to have six columns employee number employee sorry employee id employee name salary and these three columns Next question, here is the scenario. Assume that you have created a table called customer and loaded data into this table. You might have inserted some data. If you see the metadata from table underscore storage metrics, please note that here I have created this customer table in the demo DB database. When you query data from metadata table called the uh, table underscore storage metrics, this is the ID for this table and this is the group ID for this table. Group ID, ID is 27660 and clone to group ID also 27660. After this, you have cloned a table called customer clone using table customer. Here is the syntax to create a clone table. Create a table, table name, clone table name and source table. Source table is the customer. Now question is, what is the clone group id what is the what is the clone group id for clone table customer clone answer is clone group id is same as customer table clone group group id you see here from same table storage metrics metadata then here clone group id is this one but whereas the ID is different between clone table and normal table called customer table. Next question. What are the metadata columns for staged files? Answer is there are two metadata columns for staged files. One is the metadata file name. Second one is the metadata dollar file underscore row underscore number so these are the two metadata columns available for staged files please note that here staged files means internal or external staged these columns can be used as part of you know copy command if you want to store the additional columns into your table then you can use these metadata columns please note that these columns values not present in the your source file for example your source file is the uh, 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 employee in the employee we have we have a three columns employee id employee name and salary and you have to create your table employee table inside your database uh, along with the three columns plus file name and file load number so that you can use the with this two metadata columns you can insert into your table so here is the additional information so currently the following metadata columns can be queried or copied into tables so the metadata dollar file name name of the staged data file the current row belongs to includes the path to the data file in the stage metadata dollar file underscore row underscore number written number of written number for each record in the container staged data file say example in your file there are 10 rows are there then 
for first row one second row two third row like that it will be number will be assigned to each row as a unit by increment order next question what are managed access schemas in snowflake answer is managed access schemas centralized privilege management with schema owner this is the simple definition of managed access schema we'll see the difference between regular schema versus managed schema then you will understand in regular schema the owner of the object assume that you have created a schema regular schema with the role is the dev engineer role and you might have created regular schema with a different role okay then the owner of the object is the here the owner of the object can grant further privileges on their objects to other so that the owner of objects itself give the privileges to other roles whereas in managed schema it's different the schema owner manages all privilege grants okay here schema owner not table object owner okay please note that this is the main difference so including feature grants the object in the schema okay object owner retains the ownership privilege on the objects however only the schema owner can manage privilege grants on the object to other roles but has no other privilege usage select drop see this schema owner cannot drop the objects inside the objects in the schema because those objects created with the different role not schema owner so schema owner only manages the all the privilege grants not dropping uses sell, even you cannot select only you can uh, uh, fire the command like select grant on table table name to roll some other role that's it so you try to i mean you know uh, table owner try to execute the you know this statement from this managed schema then the following error will come so sql ex execution error not authorized in managed access schema to use manage a schema owner role or role with managed grants so if you want to give the grants to some other role from managed schema you have to use this you have to execute that grant statement by using the schema owner not table owner if you want to use the table owner that is different case if you assign this grant to any role any role with that role you can give the select all i mean privileges to any other roles next question how many unique tags can be set on single object in snowflake the answer is 20 here is the some additional information for a table or a view and its columns the maximum number of unique tags that can be set to set is 20 note that the maximum number of 20 includes unique tags that are set on table directly plus number of unique tags set on columns in the same table or view so you can set the tags table same way inside the columns so same tag can be set on a table and also to that columns that's why the unique tags can be set maximum 20 if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon for more notifications like it and share it to your friends Thank you once again for watching this video.